Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to take a look at what are mocks and stubs and how they can help us when writing our own tests. So what are stubs and mocks? Well there is a difference between them but ultimately they allow us to either fake flows or data within our tests. So what is a stub? Well a stub is a simple fake object that you can use to help you with your tests. An example of this will be having some fake data that we could return from a fake service rather than waiting for a real one. And we can essentially swap in our own simple data that we want to send back so it's more state based. A mock, so this is similar to a stub except it actually helps us fake some interactions and simulate and verify a flow that we can test against. An example of this would be verifying that if we pass some data within a flow, such as executing a fake request, does it give us back the correct data? So in simple terms, a stub helps us write code with a specific result, and a mock helps us use the stubs that can be asserted to validate a flow. So looking at our project, where would this actually be useful? Well, where would we actually want to use a stub and where would we want to actually write a mock within our project? So let's just go into our project and just look at an example where this would be useful. So I'm actually going to use our create view model because this is the view model that in my, that literally has the most um, dependencies. It's easier for me to get my point across. So in our you know view model here, we'd actually want to stub our validation code when we're writing our integration test. So we would actually want to create a mock of a create validator where we stub some data where it will return either true or false. Now within our unit test as well, we'd also want to have a mock networking manager where we return some kind of data or throw some kind of error to see if our view model actually handles the entire flow properly. Now in the next set of videos, we actually are going to do this with this view model. But to start off simple, what we're going to do is actually just work our way through all of our view models, starting off with our people one. So if you enjoyed this breakdown, I'd really love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and hit notification bell to get updates for whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you on a bit. Deuces.